is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another edition of Big Al's Barber Blow. Let's get into this. everybody and welcome back to another edition of Big Al's Barber Vlogs guys today is today is Monday Monday almost the end of the month guys this is the last week for sure uh, I think the first is on Friday so this will be the last week this week we're coming off of kind of a slow weekend it wasn't as busy as it normally is um, so you know it is what it is guys we're, we're bound to have some bad weekends, you know what I mean? But, uh, me, myself, personally, I did okay, guys. Cause I, I, like I tell my boys, I advertise, I put up videos for the shop, put up videos of myself cutting hair. But I can't do videos of them. Can't do pictures of them. They need to do that themselves. In order for them to do that, they need to uh, start monopolizing themselves and getting people in their chairs. I explained this to them the other day, and... Um, you know, it's something that you got to do for yourself. Your, your your owner can only do so much. You know, I can only put up ads. I run Google ads. I pay for Google ads. I do this. I do that. I'm trying to help out. But at the end of the day, everybody has to help themselves out. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, everybody has to do for themselves. So that's where we're sitting at right now. Um, headed to the shop. Uh... We'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about this today. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this as we go along. I gotta pick up my nephew right now and take him to the take him to school, and then uh, we'll see what's up after that. All right, guys. Hi, Ma. and grind hair cutting time love the smell of barbershop in the morning if you guys don't like that smell guys it might not be the job for you today is cleaning day guys today is the last day of the week for me first appointment's already here I'm about 40% booked for today. I probably do a lot of walk-ins. Last Monday was really good, so I don't know what are we expecting this Monday. Make myself a cup of coffee and let's get started on this first haircut. Good start to the morning, guys. Good start to the morning. I already got two down. I got about three more appointments in a row. And then I got a little space and I got like another two appointments. But right now, two walk-ins just walked out because I told them I already have an appointment set up for this morning. Yeah. Hopefully they'll come back. They said they were going to come back at 10. So, But I kind of just trying to juggle the, the appointments. Uh, the good thing is that uh, I spoke to David, my son. And uh, starting next week, he's going to start working with me on, on, on uh, Mondays. So I'm going to be getting some extra help here on Mondays. 
which is necessary because sometimes I get busy in here on Mondays, guys. Sometimes I'll do 20 haircuts. And seriously, I don't want to do 20 haircuts. That's a lot of work. I walk out of here super tired. It takes me a whole day to recoup from that shit. So uh, I'd rather have somebody else here working with me and, and, and benefiting on some of the, this money that, that we need to be making here. So, um, so I'm just waiting on my next appointment. Like I said, I'm pretty stacked for this morning. And then we'll see what I can. Maybe we'll get one uh, on, on video for you guys. All right, guys? Being a barber, guys, is more than just providing a haircut, guys. Being a barber is providing a service. Providing an experience. You know? You want to charge a lot of money in your haircuts and your business? Then you need to provide the best service possible. Give the best haircut. Give the best experience. That way when people come in here, they'll value you. And trust me, guys, there are people that will value your work, will value you and pay you what you ask them to pay you. And then there's people that will not. I just had a gentleman right now wait half hour for a haircut. Told me, I'll slide you in this next haircut right after this and I'll take care of you. Um, as soon as the haircut was over, he got in my chair and he asked me how much for the haircut. 35 bucks, sir. And he saw that I had people waiting, you know, like... Oh, 35 bucks. Oh, that's too much for me. I'm all okay. No problem, sir. I'm all there's a $20 spot right here on Azusa Avenue. If you want to go down there, just go. Uh, oh, oh, okay. But I, I don't know if they expect me to like just say, Oh, I'll do it for $20. No, I'm not. I mean, I, I'll give a break once in a while, guys. So trust me, I'm not a hard ass about shit like that. But when it's a new client, you, you know, you kind of want people to know your worth. And he told me right away, oh, you charge this much because this is a really nice place. And I told him, thank you, bro, thank you. I go, but our, our, it's not just the place, it's our haircuts, you know, we, it's our experience here. So right now, let me see, 12, almost 12 o'clock right now. I'm already eight cuts in, guys, eight cuts in, 290 bucks on the box. It's been a great morning. Uh, had that one guy walk out. But other than that, it's been, you know, it's been pretty busy. I've been working by myself. The head. Baby, I dream me the big I get. I can admit, I was a jitch. Shout out, she want me, just she know I'm next. I'm not the best, I'm just the best. I work in late, so I worked up like a mess. Get like a mess, got no regrets. They true to my business, don't need a finesse. <laughs> Working every day, so I got bands for the summer. You ain't got no fans, I'ma die with a bummer. John, yeah. I'm nasty, but it take cover. I just made a hit, I'ma die, he's another Please don't push me I've been moving daily I'm getting to Barbershop We charge 35, brother Yes, sir Okay, no problem Just getting back from getting some lunch right now, guys I had a client ask me today in a serious way. He asked me, Big Al, I've been thinking a lot. He's all, what do you consider a good tip? He's all, my, he's all, my haircut, he's all, my services cost 45. What do you think is a good tip for $45? And I told him, and I know he's a college student, you know, he's, he's, he's going to college right now. I told Michael, you know what, I go, bro, I really, for me, a tip is exactly what it is. It's a tip. It's not something that I'm expecting or I expect people to give me or I'm expecting counting on it as part of my, as part of my pay because it's not. I go, I feel like a tip is a tip. It's something extra. It's gratitude for what we do, you know. You give me $5. I told him that's a good, that's a good tip. And I told him, I go, I appreciate it. You know, I, I appreciate it. Some people don't give no tips. Some people give $2 tips. Some people give $20 tips, I told him. I go, I have a lady that brings in her little boy every two weeks and gives me a $20 tip. You know? Do I appreciate it? Hell yeah, I appreciate it. You know, it all adds up at the end of the day. I go, but, I go, I have a lot of people that 
used to give me $5 tip and when we went up $5, they stopped giving me that $5. So do I get upset about that? I don't. I don't. Personally, I think that's just part of, part of the... It's part of the, it's part of the job, you know what I mean? Like tips are extra, guys. Don't ever I feel like don't ever count on your tips being huge or being big or whatever. Just a tip is a tip. I think that's just gratitude for you doing what you do for them. And, and sometimes you get extra, sometimes you don't. So I, I I always try to do the same for everybody when they give me something. I always say thank you very much. I appreciate it. You know. Sometimes when they give me a big big tip, I'll say oh thank you very much. You know, but, you know, of course, when people give you tips, guys, you know, you'll tend to go a little bit more out of the way for them. You know, you'll be more, you know, somebody who tips me good. I, if they ask me to come in on a, on, on a day that I can, I'm not working or something, I have they have a better chance of getting that done. They do because they take care of me. You know, that's important. So I'm going to have my lunch right now, guys. And uh, so far right now, we're 11 cuts in for the day. So it's been a good, good, good Monday so far. Let's see how many more we can get. And I still gotta clean the shop and everything, so. I think that's pretty much it for today, guys. Died out this last half hour. Right now it's about 4.30. Sorry, guys. It looks bare out here. I need to get the windows rewrapped again. I have to find another company to do it. It just gets so hot right now at this time of the day. I don't know if they're gonna stay on. They didn't just stay on last time. But I ended up being a really good day, guys. Really, really good day. Um, let me see what we got. I'll give you guys the number real quick. But well, now we are at 13 cuts, 475. Can't beat that. We're not from Monday. Not from Monday at all, boys. Okay, fellas, that is it for today. This day is over. Another week down the drain, boys. We are in the month of September. When I come back, it will be the month of September. August is over. There's only three more months this month. September, October, November, December. Oh, actually, four more months, guys. Because we're leaving the month of October uh, of August. Um, today was actually really good, guys. I'm not going to lie. It was a, actually a really good day. So, uh, you can't rely on your owner to be settling everything for you guys you guys have to be able to do this for yourselves guys okay like i was talking this morning to you guys you guys need to advertise for yourself guys shirts hats a necklace a tattoo anything anything to let people know that you're a barber if you don't let people know you're a barber they're not gonna know they're gonna what they have to wait till walk in walks in no guys that's not the way it works Everybody's responsible for promoting themselves, for letting them know that thank you for sitting in my chair, here's my card. Next time you come in, uh, next time you want to book an appointment, scan my card, my number's on there. You could text me personally and I'll take care of you. It's all about customer service, boys. Customer service. Customer service is key. If you want to charge more and you want to charge good money, then you need to have great customer service skills. Of course, you know, I'm not saying I'm the best. No, by far, you know, even uh, I charge 35, guys. People think that's a lot of money, but in reality, there's people out there that are charging $100 a haircut. Easy, easy, and people are paying it. Like, you know, people love that level of service. You know, sometimes, you know, you, you I feel like people think, because you charge more, that, you know, they're gonna get more. You're gonna get more. You're gonna get more. I think some people think that because you charge 35 that you're not gonna get the same kind of cut you got for 20. You're gonna get a better cut. You are gonna get a better cut. So, you know, like I said at the end, guys, it's just about you're responsible for yourself. You wanna be busy at your shop? If you're not busy, if you're sitting around, then you need to do something to get yourself busy. Don't rely on your owner. It's not your owner's responsibility to get you busy. No, it's not. It's up to you. You and yourself only. You're only going to get out of this business what you put into it. If you don't put nothing into it, no second effort, no third effort, then trust me, you're going to be sitting around for a long time, guys. With that being said, that's it for tonight. I appreciate every single one of you guys watching. Big Al's Barber Channel is here to help you by me sharing what I do every single day here at Big Al's Barber Shop. Today was a blessed day. Glad I was here. Uh, next two days are my days off, and then I'll be back on be back on Thursday, guys. 
with that being said, I appreciate every single one of you guys. And see you guys on the next video. Grind on.